people forward. And let's talk about some breaking news that took place this week. If you are a Los Angeles Lakers fan, I know you are still on Laker heaven after the news that came out this week that Jim Buss and Mitch Kupchak have both been fired in favor of Irvin Magic Johnson Woo! to basically run the basketball operations woo, 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 of woo, the Los woo. Angeles Lakers. Magic, the Magic Man who created the Lake Show, who won multiple championships, is now the one who is calling the basketball shots for the Los Angeles the Lakers. The only. Here we go. I'm going to let Red share how he felt. When he heard the news that the magic man is now the head man in Los Angeles. Well, finally, I have been waiting to talk about this all week long. I even had to take off my shades because I want y'all to see exactly how I'm feeling right here. Honestly, Mike, I, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was Christmas morning again. I had to, I had to pinch myself when I heard breaking news. Mitch Kupchick, well... Let me not mention his name first, because I respect Mitch. Dim Jim Bus was relieved of his basketball duties. Dim Bus, boy, you have been dimming the light in Staples Center for three or four years now, and we have finally got rid of you. I don't know what took your sister so long. You have got probably the most loyal sister in all of America, because I promise you, my sister, and I love Erica to death, she would not have given me that long to get the job done. I'm telling you, my sister would not have given me that, especially when she's seen the result that's oh happening. I would have been out of there two years ago, and I'm just letting you know, and if it was the vice versa, if it was my sister running things, and I'm and I'm the president, and I see what she's doing, she would have been out of three years ago. I would have gave her one year to show me something. One year, get gone, girl. We are running a business here. This is sports. We're not playing games. This ain't no Monopoly boy. Uh, <laughs> so, needless to say, Red is very excited. I am very excited. When you got the greatest, arguably, the greatest player. We've had a lot of great players in our organization. Yeah. But when you have arguably the greatest player in our history again. to come back and profess to the world, pretty much guarantee and promise y'all that he is going to get the job done. He is going to make the moves and do whatever it takes to bring winning championship ball back to L.A. And you best believe, I believe, Magic, when he say he's going to bring championship winning basketball back to L.A. When he said his first call was to Kobe, I believe it. Because guess who the GM is? Kobe's agent. GM Ron Perlinka, I think. You know, I get these crazy names mixed up sometimes, but his name is Ron Perlinka. Kobe's agent is the GM. Pretty much, Magic and Kobe are now running the ship in L.A., okay? Because no way you're going to have me to believe that Kobe's agent is the GM and Kobe is not sitting in, sitting in the back behind the wings instructing this man what to do. And instructing him what moves to make. And don't give, don't say a Rob short. He's a small enough agent. He knows pretty much know what to do too. Got a lot of connections in the NBA. Magic is hiring the right people in the right positions to get the Lakers back on top. I have no doubt about it. That my Lakers. So I hope all of these other NBA teams been enjoying their time. Golden State, Cleveland, you better go ahead and get the job done now. Because in a couple of years, my Lakers will be Back to where we belong, and that is running the NBA number one team about it. When you think of championships and you think of teams to beat, you will think of L.A. Lakers first and the Atlanta Hawks never. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me let me try to clean up with Red messed up, all right? I, I am totally on board with Magic. I'm talking with emotions right all here. Right, so, yeah, right, Dante, if right. you look at I'm talking with emotions right, all right now. All right, I'm I'm totally... On board with Magic, uh, being the head man. Magic, how can you not be? Is one of the greatest basketball players ever to do it. We know Magic's business acumen. Uh, he was really the first athlete to really take business beyond the basketball court court to a whole nother level. Exactly. His dealings with Starbucks. Uh, Fridays, Magic Johnson Theaters, and the Fat list, Burger. Fat Burger, and the list goes on and on. Magic 
is definitely a businessman. Magic knows the game. Uh, he had a stint coaching the game. He was a minority owner for a little time. And, and Magic just knows basketball. Uh, I'm sure he can make great personnel decisions, and I'm sure um, he'll put the right people in place to get the job done when it comes to salary cap and so forth and so on. Now, and I know some folk might say, here Mike goes with this Kobe hate. Yes, Magic pulled on Kobe's agent to be the general manager, and there's no doubt that Kobe will have significant influence on you know the Lakers organization for after all Magic made no bones about it that once he became the president the first call he was going to make is to Kobe Bryant and Kobe no doubt one of the greatest basketball players to ever do it had a stellar career in Los Angeles no matter how I don't like Kobe the person I can't deny Kobe the player all right now with that being said, here's my issue with Kobe being too involved. Okay. Here's my issue. You may have the same view. Kobe, again, was a great player. But Kobe was not a good salesman. No. And part of the reason, and Jim Buss is the main reason why the Lakers are in basketball disarray right now. Mm -hmm. But Kobe is part of the reason. Because Kobe's ego got in the way of progress towards the end of his career. You mean his contract? Not only his contract, but his mindset. I was talking to somebody about this yesterday. Kobe would have done well if he had taken a page from Tim Duncan. When Tim, Tim Duncan realized he was no longer the alpha player on the San Antonio Spurs, he took a step back. The first step that he took back was for Tony Parker, when Tony Parker emerged as the best player on the team. And what did they do? They wound up, one, losing in the championship to the Cleveland Cavaliers, and arguably they should have won if it had not been for a miraculous shot by Ray Allen in game six. Oh, and then uh, the Heat came back and won game Don't seven. But the following year, they win the championship, basically smoked. The Cavaliers, and basically that's when LeBron left Miami to go back to one Cleveland. Of the, one of the greatest final series I ever watched. In I'm my sure life. you believe. I'm <laughs> sure you love that. One. Now, then he even took a step back at the end of his career when Kawhi Leonard became clearly yeah. the best player on the San Antonio Spurs. Had no choice. Right. Now, before Kobe got hurt. I would say Kobe's last great season was maybe about 2010, 11, somewhere around there. I think the year he tore his Achilles. Okay. I can't remember what year he tore his Achilles. That year right there. He, that, was, he was still able to take over basketball games. He was still, game. but but when. The year he got Dwight. The year, year he got Dwight, and then they had a chance to get LaMarcus Aldridge and other players through free agency. Yeah, Kobe Kobe's ego. Mm -hmm got in the way, basically saying, I'm still going to be the man, and you can learn from me. Yes, those guys can learn from you, but you got to take a step back, bro. Yeah, I bet he actually said that. Too. I know he said it, because we're talking about Kobe, selfish player, Bryant. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> the player was great, but the person it. is selfish. On that basketball court, he wanted to do it all. And he was selfish by taking all that money, which did not allow the Lakers to, to bring more assets to the team. This man, I mean, and, and the Lakers were dumber for offering that big contract, giving that man a lifetime achievement contract of 30 plus million when he was no longer that kind of player. That's on you, Dim Bus. All on you. So I can't blame Kobe all the way because who's going to reject that exactly. kind of money while at the same time, if Kobe thought about the future of the franchise like Tim Duncan did, where Tim Duncan took a lot of hometown discounts, mm -hmm. even though I can't stand this guy, Tom Brady. That's why the Patriots are still relevant for so long because Tom Brady does not try to break the bank 
And that's one of the one of the good things that he that's not talked about him because he's not even in the top five highest paid quarterbacks in the league. If Kobe had taken a page. Another example of <laughs> well, I mean, I got to call it the way I see it. But if Kobe had taken that path, the Lakers would be in better. Yeah, we just took the Tim Duncan path. Right. Yeah, we the Lakers that. would be in better shape now. So I don't know, unless Kobe changes his mentality and begins to talk to these young men mm -hmm. and talk to them in a mode of trying to help them, not that he's superior over them, then... He has a lot to offer, and he has a lot to offer. He has a lot to offer these players because he's a champion. He did it with the best of them, and he has a lot to offer the Lakers. But if he does not change that selfish mentality and thinking I'm the greatest of all time ever and you're beneath me <laughs> mentality, then I think he would be more of a liability to the Lakers in their future rather than a help. Well, Mike, Kobe not changing that, uh, what's the word I can use, that butthole part of his personality, <laughs> he, he not changing that, and I want to use another word, but he not changing that word, he's not changing that part about his personality, no sign soon, because the thing about Kobe Bryant is, he's a great guy, and he feels, if you're not as great as him, or not trying to be the best, or great like him, that's, how, no he, that's how he looks at you. Yeah, there's yeah. no use for He him. looks at you. Like you're beneath him. Mm -hmm. That's why certain people like Jordan and Magic and all the NBA greats that came for him, he going to look up and respect them. People that's great in entertainment, people that's great in politics, people that's great in literature, people that's great in any aspect of life, Kobe's going to look up to you. If you're, if you're A plus at what you do, he respects you. B plus or lower, ain't got no time for you. And that's just that's just his mindset and mentality. But that has to change when you're in the business. Office. I know. I agree. That, that works I agree. on the court when you are the man. Exactly. But, but when that's, you why didn't, that's why I didn't. Yeah. It didn't bother me so much yeah. because you had to have that mentality to yeah. win um, in this NBA. Yeah. But now, like the man said, you're in the office in real life now. Yeah, you're in the office and 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 you're dealing with a different breed mm -hmm. of players they who not are not like you, man. They're not hardcore. They millennials. They're, some of yeah, they're millennials. Most of them are, and a lot of the millennials are very sensitive. Oh Lord, yeah, are they very sensitive? So you, and that's in every sport. That's in every sport and almost all fields of life, because they just grew up in a different era. That they, they, they feel they're entitled. I hate that since the eighties and nineties. That's when you should have grew up, boy. <laughs> we ain't got that entitlement. So therefore, Kobe going, Kobe is going to have to make some adjustments. If he's going to be a, a, a you huge You got child. players that you ain't even great. You got players that's like just good. Right. Going around with a sense of entitlement. That's why I can't take them seriously. And see, these contracts in the NBA does not bring that entitlement mentality down. No, you got a I guy mean, like Kent Bates more making $17 million. million. Come on, man. That's crazy. $17 million. You got Michael Connelly Jr. Oh. making $30 million. And Tristan that, Thompson making twenty some odd million. Chandler what? Parsons making twenty two million. I mean, come on, man. Jamar Carroll making fifteen, 15 million. Did that dude even in the top fifty in scoring? Top one hundred, probably. Nah, I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> but uh, I, I mean, I, as we try to close this section, I think Kobe is going. I mean, not Kobe, but I think Magic, Magic. will do a great job. And really, to be honest. The NBA is a better place, a better league, when the Los Angeles Lakers are relevant. You heard it. it, it it's a, I didn't say it. I mean, they're one of I the agree. chief franchises in the NBA. And after all, it was that franchise and Magic Johnson, along with the Boston Celtics and Larry Bird, which has helped the NBA be what it is now. Because before those two franchises and that rivalry, the NBA championship insane. series came on tape delay. Whoa! Tape delay. It wasn't even shown live. But because of what Magic and Bird infused by their respective play and in their teams, this is why the NBA has become one of the best sports leagues in the world. So I wish Magic the best. He's a great guy. I hope the Lakers... Now that Kobe is going off the court, <laughs> becomes very relevant 
because we need them to be relevant. And also, we need the New York Knicks to be relevant. Oh, God. Because the yeah. NBA is a better place. You asked me a little too much. When the now. New York Knicks are relevant. So, uh, Jim Dolan, even though you got Oak Tree issues. Yeah, Oakley, you need to get relevant with Oakley first. <laughs> if, if, if you got to get rid of Phil Jackson well, that's gonna to happen. help the Knicks become more relevant, be like Nike and just do it. Because we need the Knicks and the Lakers to be relevant once again. I'm only concerned about these, y'all. Just these. The Knicks. They could be a they could be a permanent lottery team ball. Like <laughs> <laughs> So but, they can always get ping pong balls. But, but, but I understand you're saying they the New York team. New York is the biggest market, so it would serve the NBA. It would help the NBA if your number one market had a decent team, you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right.